Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to expand this exponent C chain by using the binomial theorem. We have x plus 1 over x to the power of 6. And we should always start from the integer 0 followed by the next integer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since the power is 6, which means that the maximum number that we can have is 6. And we know that binomial theorem uses this combination. With this maximum value, we have 6c0, 6c1, 6c2, 6c3, 6c4, 6c5, and 6c6. Next is to make use of the combination between x and 1 over x. If we give all the changes to x, which is x to the power of 6, and 1 over x should have 0, since the total of the powers must be always equal to this number, which is 6. So if let's say we take only 5 for x, in other words, 1 over x, we should take 1. 1 plus 5 equal to 6. If we take x to the power of 4, so we should have 1 over x for 2, since 4 plus 2 equal to 6, and so for the rest. So we have x to the power of 3, 1 over x to the power of 3. Then we have x to the power of 2, 1 over x to the power of 4. And we have x to the power of 1, 1 over x to the power of 5. And lastly, x to the power of 0, 1 over x to the power of 6. And we just have to add up. We can evaluate the coefficient by using formula. Recall that mcr is equal to m factorial divided by r factorial times m minus r factorial, which means that if you have 6c0, this is equal to 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial times 6 minus 0 factorial, and this is equal to 1. If you have 6c2, this is equal to 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial factorial and we times 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 and we have factorial and this is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and we can simplify so we cancel the similar term so the numerator is equal to 30 divided by the denominator 2, so this is equal to 15. By using the same idea, we could find all the coefficients. If you don't like to calculate manually, we can make use of the calculator. So we press number 6, shift divide to get C, followed by the number that we want. Press number 30, and we press equal, then we should obtain the correct value. We could also determine all the coefficients by using the Pascal triangle. Start from the value 1. 1 plus nothing is 1. 1 plus nothing is 1. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 1, 3. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1, 4. 1 plus nothing 1. 1 plus nothing, 1, 1 plus 4, 5, 4 plus 6, 10, 6 plus 4, 10, 4 plus 1, 5, 1 plus nothing, 1, 1 plus nothing, 1, 1 plus 5, 6, 5 plus 10, 15, 10 plus 10, 20, 10 plus 5, 15, 5 plus 1, 6, 1 plus nothing, 1. So this is for the power 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have power 6. So which means that the coefficient should be this row. So we have 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. Next, let's evaluate the terms for x. So we have x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 0. So we have x to the power of 6 x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 1. So simply 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 4 minus 2 equal to 2. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. And 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4. And 0 minus 6 is negative 6. And this is equal to x to the power of 6 plus 6x power 4 plus 15x square 
plus 20 plus 15 divided by x squared plus 6 divided by x power 4 plus 1 over x to the power of 6 and hence we are done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.